What's up guys, this is Retro Productions here and today we're going to do a video on the arcade emulation capabilities on the Retro Pocket 2 Plus. Now first off the bat guys, I have to say this is an arcade emulation beast. A lot of people, they don't meant talk about the arcade capabilities of this device and honestly, nowadays, it's barely talked about at all, this device. People won't, uh, mainly talk about the Retro Pocket 3 Plus and it's understandable because this one is not really sold anymore. But guys, honestly, this device is... See, basically it says MAME here, but I'm not really using MAME. I'll talk about the actual... What, what I'm using to get this up and running, but for now... We'll just play a bit of Sunset Riders. Honestly guys, this is a it's fantastic, this game in particular is really good as well, it's called Sunset Riders. Sorry about the glare in the screen. But yeah guys. That's better. Fantastic game guys. Honestly, I love arcade games, especially because I, I used to grow up on them. I grew up on them, especially games like Bippy and Bibius. Wouldn't recommend that, but it's, it's too difficult, guys. It really is. Mainly, a lot of these games they're built for two player in mind. This game has four player capabilities, but it's actually fine in, in one player. The good thing about it is that when you die, you can just respawn straight away. I think that's a really good thing feature. But yeah guys, this is a fantastic game. Majority of my playtime on this device is with these kind of games. Obviously they're very brutal at times but it's, it's alright really because we have save states which are fantastic. I wonder how the SNES version compares to this. So you can shake up the gameplay a bit with these four sections. Fantastic soundtrack as well. Yeah guys, it runs beautifully, no lag. It's very smooth. And I'm using the D-pad here. Normally I'm using the analog stick, but it depends. Sometimes I use a bit of both. Well, I thought I'm supposed to jump. But yeah guys, I don't know how the original Retro Pocket 2 performed on arcade emulation. I'm really interested on this and how that ran. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Especially games like this. But yeah, the frame rate doesn't drop or throttle. It stays consistent throughout its runtime, alhamdulillah. And then to save it, all I do is press these two buttons and it's saved. So yeah guys, I'll show you what I use. Well, obviously, first of all, I use RetroArc. I have two co two versions, 64-bit and 32-bit. For this particular video, I'll go over the 64-bit one, which I have the RetroArc core for arcade emulation. So basically, the core that I use is this one. It's called Final Burn, Final Burn Neo. Excellent core, honestly, guys. It runs the majority of the games. Uh, I do have some other cores here, but I don't really use them. It's this core, Final Burn Neo. 
it's the best call before I like before I got this device I, I barely knew how to use RetroArch but honestly guys it's really good RetroArch I <coughs> excuse me guys I use the uh, retro ca uh, retro game call videos on how to set this up I'll, I'll leave the links in the description so how to get it basically I don't know if RetroArch's website is running it got hacked recently so yeah but so let's get the the build I'll put it in the link in the put it in the description the build that I'm using is the latest one 1.15.0 it's the Arch 64 as you can see here I'm using that one it's not on the Play Store I don't use no Play Store versions for the RetroArch so yeah to get it you just go to online a data if you want guys if you want me to make a, a tutorial on how to get this RetroArch to look like this and set it up with all the binding and controls let me know I will do that as well you just go to core downloader and it should be there I do regularly update my course as well to keep it up and running so yeah now here's another example I'm gonna show you guys not all games will run on this core like for example there's a game a 3d one called in fact, there I found it it's called prop cycle <coughs> excuse me this game I don't know if it's the wrong ROM set but it doesn't work so it could be the ROM set but instead what of that instead of using RetroArch I actually use main for droid here it's on the Play Store there's two versions one is for older devices I haven't tried that out I may try that in the future but this is a 0.139 u1 build just grabbed it from the Play Store oh yeah I forgot I have to oh my goodness me oh my gosh guys sorry about this because I recently added a new micro SD card to this device and uh, yeah I forgot to set this up again goodness me this might be a headache just gotta find the location yeah, change run path. Yes. Oh my goodness me, this device can drive me insane, honestly. Honestly guys, my touch screen barely works nowadays. It really is a headache. It's not letting me change my run path. Oh my goodness. Let me get the the mouse. And that doesn't make a difference. Mm. Okay. Very frustrating, honestly. It's not working for some reason. Oh my goodness. So there guys, I'm going to change the location. Um, there we go guys, I'm in just required a bit of tweaking but yeah guys this is I also use this app for arcade emulation if by default runs at a low resolution then the retro arc core and actually it kind of gives it a nice vintage look but you can increase the resolution if you want now a problem with this is some games don't have the option to save state but let's try out the game what was it called prop cycle Let's go for it. Okay, guys, here it is. Let's jump in. See, this game works fine. I think it's because it's a 3D game. There used to be a frame script. You can tell by the audio, but it's not a big deal. So that, how do I play this? Oh my goodness me! But yeah, guys, this game is really fun. Just gonna pop these balloons. Sorry, guys, for keeping moving the camera. It's a tough setup, honestly. Very fun game, guys. So yeah, basically, the summary of this video is I use Main for Droid, the red version. And also use Final Bell Neo. 
So both of these apps, these ways to play arcade will suffice you on this device. Honestly guys, I haven't thought of upgrading this device. I don't know, it's, I brought it over a year ago and it still works. Alhamdulillah. The touch screen's gone a bit finky. But, uh, you know, I don't know why, maybe they cheapened out. Yeah guys, this game runs fine. I don't have a problem with it. Graphics still hold up. Oh no. Only got three seconds, come on! Go, go, go! Oh my goodness, he misses it. But yeah guys, that's Aim for Droid. So yeah guys, I hope this video helped you. Let me know if they ha let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer to them straight away. And let me know if you want any more videos on anything like the retro arc setup. I'll make it for you guys. Let me know if I if there's any other tweaks I could do for arcade emulation. Let me know. Also, another thing I wanted to mention for arcade, I actually reconfigured the input, so majority of the games they had used the other way around. I swapped them. So this is now a jump, the B button, but normally it's the A. It's just a small tweak I did, as I found it more comfortable. But yeah guys, anyway, thanks for watching, and let me know if you know, want anything, if, if you have any questions. Bye bye.